How's it going guys? Uh, you join me here on a happy homebrew Wednesday. I'm brewing a coriander wheat beer tonight. Uh, it's still Wednesday is it? Yeah it's just about. It's 10 to 12 at the minute. Uh, fairly simple recipe for this one tonight. It's 2.3 kilograms of Pilsner malt, 2.3 grams of wheat malt. Uh, the hop edition is going to be a single hop edition of 50 grams of Helitau. The recipe actually only calls for 38 grams but why hold on to 12 grams? It's just throw it in, use it up, get it out of there. Um, with 15 minutes to go, I'll be adding a chili and coriander seasoning mix that I got from my butchers. Along with that, there'll be 25 grams of orange peel and a bit of Irish moss. You don't need to see what's going on, you know what the uh, boil looks like. Um, mash and sparge went pretty well. Uh, made a slight adjustment to the Bulldog Brewer tonight. Um, cut up a sieve and actually put that in the bottom of the malt pipe. Uh, anyone that has a Bulldog Brewer knows about the misery that is the pump clogging up. Uh, when I finished sparging, or even before I started sparging, when I was lifting the malt pipe, I noticed there was absolutely no grains whatsoever on the sparge plate. This little mesh thing happens to be the best mod I can think of doing to a Bulldog Brewer at the minute. First time using it with the sieve cut up in it, but it makes such a difference. Not once did the pump struggle. There's no grain to be found on top of the sparge play. I've just added the hops already for the uh, hop addition, that's it. So we're just into the boil, quick and easy to stage. 15 minutes ago I'll add the coriander and the rest of the additions. Then let's just chill it down and get it into the fridge tonight. I'm actually going to be using a new fermenter tonight. I did look at the big bubbler ones, but the postage swirling on them was absolutely ridiculous. It was nearly as much as the fermenter itself was costing. So I got on to Homebrew West, picked up two of these bad boys for 50 euros delivered to the house. Um, next day delivery, what more can you ask for? Other than that, I'll be back later when we're finishing and transferring. Nothing else to really see. Cheers, guys. Just a quick one here of basically the chili and coriander mix. Uh, the orange peels are in there as well. The lighting in here is terrible. Let me try to get a better shot of that for you. Don't mind the bags of coal. I'm out in the shed, as you can see. Um, yeah, it's not really coming out great at all, but basically it's 25 grams of chili and coriander mix, 25 grams of orange zest, and there's a teaspoon of Irish moss in there as well. That's all that'll be getting added in at 15 minutes to go on the boil, which we're not far off now at this stage. Alright guys, we're back with 15 minutes on the boil. Just going to add the coriander, chili and uh, orange peel. I did notice one little oversight I made. I added my Irish moss into this mixture, so therefore it's just going to sit inside the hop spider and not in the boil kettle itself. I'm sure it'll be fine, I've often brewed without Irish moss anyway, so we'll just tip this in and that's that done. Give it a quick stir. I also have here a bit of yeast nutrient. Um, never used yeast nutrient before. Um, there's two reasons I'm using it. All because of the same thing, really. That's about a spoonful, rough guesstimate. For this brew, I will be using Cross Malouf Belgian Ale Yeast. Now, a lot of people lately are giving out about Cross Malouf Yeast and how it's stalling or stopping short. I've been using it for about a year now and never had an issue with it at all. Often told other people they're doing something wrong. And lo and behold, my last brew I've done started at 1081, so I pitched two packets of the US Pale East that they do, and for some reason, it's stalled at 1060. Just will not budge anymore. I'm tempted to add another pack, or even just go back to the old faithful US 05 and just see if it'll come down. Don't really want to start mixing yeast or pitch another pack. I've given it, it's the 5th of October it went on, so we're what, 1st of November now, it's, it's in nearly a month, so coming up on the 30 days that they recommend. Now this yeast for me has always taken off like lightning, 
and always taking about 10 days to clean itself up and get down the last few points. But we're seeing everyone else complaining about it lately. I'm starting to think, is there something wrong with the yeast? So yeast nutrient has gone in just to give it a helping hand. And this is my first time using their Belgian ale yeast as well. Don't know if it's gonna work. Don't know if it's gonna fall flat on its face. Um, half has me thinking that cross my loof yeast could be on its last legs at this stage. If it works, I'll keep going with it. I'll order more, keep going. If not, I'll go back to Mangrove Jacks or Safael just to be sure that it's gonna work. You're a seven five, is it? It's a guaranteed fixture every time. Last chance for cross my loof yeast. Not happy that my mango missile is stalled at 1060. Can't see why it should. Um, actually, on that, I'll just add it did drop to 1047, and then I added in the mangoes 1.5 kilo of mango, which brought it up to 1065. It dropped down to 1060 now and just sitting there. Don't know what to do with it. Not giving up on it. It's going to be bottled as a low alcoholic beer with loads of body or I might just throw it in a few mini kegs and just keep it all to myself. I don't know. Um, anyway, that's 15 minutes coming up on this now. Gone already. I've added the additions. So, just going to chill it down after this, transfer it and We'll pitch the yeast. The numbers uh, pre boil, I had a 1037. Beersmith recommended that this should be 1047 post boil. Can't see it picking up 10 points, so I've lost efficiency there somehow. Tempted to pitch two packs of this just to be sure that it's going to get the numbers down. I might even just pitch a pack now and check it in a few days see how it's going after that if it's not moving I'll throw in the second pack other than that cross my loof it's not looking good for you at the moment so guys just transferring now and um, yeah we're back transferring so Numbers actually turned out pretty okay. It was 10.45 in the end. Quite surprised to pick up numbers like that. I've decided I'm going to pitch one pack of Cross Maloof yeast into this tonight and just see if it takes off, if it does its job. If not, I'll pitch a second pack during the week. Um, ended up with 21 litres of wort. Gotta love the groundwater this time of year chill down from 100 degrees to 24 degrees in just over 25 minutes uh, yeah I'm transferring now would appreciate comments below bit of feedback did you enjoy it did you not what am I doing what am I not doing this is my first time standing in front of a camera doing a brew day so I don't know really um, obviously the lighting in the shed is a bit shit I've been evicted from the house out of the shed by the missus so this is all I can work with at the minute. Better light in here might make a difference. Uh, other than that, let me know, guys. Cheers. Thank you.